everyone, it's Miss Sims. I'm really excited about today's project because we're gonna do some more line work, which we've been working really hard on all year. Um, but we also get to add some work with space, which is what's in the foreground, what's in front, and what's in the background, what's behind it. I can't wait to get started and I hope you're ready. Let's do it. Yay! We have two goals for today's art lesson. The first one is to use space in our artwork. We're going to do that by creating a foreground, things in the front that our eyes see first, and a background, things that are behind the main subject. We're also going to use different types of lines in our artwork. We've been working on this a lot lately. As you are doing your line details, you need to practice at least three of the different lines in your artwork or your composition. Today we're just doing the first half of the project, so you'll just need a blank white piece of paper and crayons. You'll need black as well as some different colors. Now we're going to be working on something next week when we finish this project called a relief. And a relief is where oil and water don't mix. That's why it's really important that you use crayons on this project because the crayons have oil in them. So when our paint and our crayons overlap each other, you'll still get to see both of the colors instead of it just going right over the top. If you don't have crayons, you can still use different colors. Just know that your relief might not work quite the same as it would if you did have crayons for this. You're going to get your paper out and make sure that it's vertical, that it's up and down. And we're gonna start with our black crayon. We won't need any colors for a little bit. The first thing we're going to do is towards the center of the page, but right on the side, is we're going to make a little cloud shape. This is going to end up being part of our wave that has the white part at the end. So if you look at mine, there's a pretty equal amount between the top and the bottom, but it's right on the very edge. Now from the center of our cloud, we're basically making half of a heart shape. We're doing a big loop and then we're bringing it down to the bottom so that it hits the bottom of our paper. You can see where mine hit. So it looks like we have half a heart. We're going to go around our curved line and we're going to keep making it bigger each time. So this one goes on the outside even bigger. This one's gonna go on the outside and it's even bigger than the last one. You're going to keep doing them until your space is filled up. Sometimes you might have ones that go off the edge. You'll just pretend you keep drawing and then set your crayon back down when it gets to that section as I did on here. They can all be the same space apart or you can make some thinner like I'm doing with mine. Go ahead and pause the video until you're done making your heart shape bigger and bigger. This is going to be the wave of our project and inside the wave we are going to start adding some different line details. So this is when you might want to get some blue, maybe even a purple or green crayon out since those are the colors of the water and we're going to make some designs. I'm going to make some designs and each design I make goes between two black lines that I've created. So for this first one I'm doing blue lines that connect two of the black lines and I'm not doing anything on that inside part. I'm still leaving that blank. This is going to keep getting sped up but I'm creating more and more designs in between all of my black lines without touching the center space. All of these details we're doing are on the foreground of the wave, the foreground of our picture meaning the very front of the picture where our eyes are going to see first. Click pause until you're done and then click play again when you're ready for the next part of our project. So now that I have some details in between all of my black lines, we're gonna work on the middle space in between. This will be the background which is behind the foreground. We're going to go back to using our black crayon and we're going to draw a line between the little cloud shape we made and the edge of our wave and that's gonna be where the land starts. Next, we are going to start on our palm tree part of our picture. So to do the trunk, I'm kind of doing two kind of curved lines going up. And then I'm going to make some different types of lines that help me make the palm tree fronds. So basically, I'm making a bunch of triangles with a loop, almost like teeth. A bunch of teeth with part of a lip, like a smile almost. Triangles in a loop, triangles in a loop. And I keep doing that until my palm tree is all the way filled in all the way around the outside. Next, you're going to color in the whole palm tree really well. The better you color it in and the less white spaces you leave, the better your painting will turn out next week because we're doing a relief technique. We can add some more background details next. The background is everything that's behind the wave. I'm adding some mountains in my background that are behind my palm tree, but you can choose what you add to yours. I'm also adding a nice big sun so it looks like the sun is setting. 
Now that we have a foreground and a background created, we can start adding details to our background, the thing in the back, and we're going to keep adding different line details. These can be straight lines, organic lines, squiggles, any type of line detail that we've worked on in our line sketchbook pages are great options for you to try out here in your artwork. Don't forget to add some calm water lines in the background water that's behind the wave and keep adding as many line details as you want for the rest of your project. Once you're done with all of those line details, then you are done with today's work. I hope you had fun working with line and space today. Your paper should look something like this when you're done. It's going to have the foreground right here in front, and then it's going to have this stuff here in the background, and you have all of your line designs completed in crayon. Once you are done with that, keep this in a really safe space because we are going to paint it next week, so that way it looks something like this when we're finished. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I can't wait to see you next week for part two. See you later.